Okay, I'm back again with a quick solar update video. This time a couple of different things. Um, the first thing is that yesterday I was able to fully test my deep cycle battery to see how long it would run. I tested it with a 30 watt AC load going through an inverter and it ran for a good 17 hours before the um, low battery alarm came on. And still, even when that battery alarm is on, you still have um, you know a couple of hours left with this type of battery to uh, run different devices so you know it ran for an incredibly long time which let me know that this will be a great device to use during a blackout or something which oddly enough happened yesterday we had a 20 minute blackout um, I didn't even begin to look for things to use I just uh, kept the fan on and then uh, turned on my little LED work light that I got recently. You can see it's extremely bright. A little uh, vector power on board work light works out pretty well. Runs for about five hours on full brightness. Um, so it's a pretty good light. The next thing I've been doing with the system is that I added a power pack. I hardwired it into the uh, system. You can see this wire coming enter the box and go into the battery so that I can have a bunch of different devices that I needed to upgrade on the system in a sort of all-in-one kit. So the most important thing that I needed was a power gauge because I kept having to have my multimeter tied up with the battery um, which was getting quite annoying and power gauges cost about 20 to 30 bucks in the store so with this power pack I got the whole thing for 20 bucks and I have a power gauge, I have LED lights, I also have a watt meter with my uh, AC power inverter that's in this so right now it's reading zero watts but if I turn on this 30 watt fan it will show me that it's using 30 watts and they're saying 30 watts then like I said the 400 watt inverter with dual outputs and let's see what else we have we also have a, um, a DC output so I can plug in things like car chargers for cell phones and uh, GPS systems in here and charge them up during a blackout also I have a way to trickle charge my battery if I want to leave um, you know on vacation or something I want to have my car charger running the risk of uh, sparking or something or shorting out and causing a fire I can plug it in with the little one app trickle charge that comes with it. And then uh, one little extra I have is an iPod dock with speakers. This little power pack has speakers and then all this stuff combined in this power pack only cost me 20 bucks where it probably would cost me close to a hundred bucks to buy all the different components and wire them up to the system by the wiring and stuff for them so I got a pretty good deal out of this and uh, if you're wondering about my wiring so you see it's pretty thin uh, this is just temporary wiring until I can get my 8 gauge or thicker wiring to wire up to the uh, system so the last thing I did was I actually converted my solar power fan into pure solar power before I was running it through a battery and a charge controller but now I just have the uh, the charge controller wires disconnected and I have the fan going completely via solar and the only bad thing is that it only works in the daytime and it only works in uh, peak sunlight right now I'm not getting any power because it's uh, 7 o'clock p.m. and the sun it's not really shining too good. It's kind of overcast right now, and this fan won't work well off the little uh, 5 watt panel that I have hooked up to it. But if I were to hook it up to that 20 watt panel, you know, it probably would still be spinning right now. So, those are just the uh, updates that I've been doing so far. Um, I've been having a great time with the system, been using it every day for lighting and, you know, just testing it every now and then. And it's been working great. So I hope you guys enjoyed those updates. Check back later for more. See you guys later. Peace.